Okay. Now we will open Axis and Allies. Oh man, I, I have to tell you, I've been waiting for this game for a long time. Ah, it's really nice. Really nice, extra nice packaging. You can see some historical figures over there. I have no idea who these guys are. I'm terrible at modern age history. This is the back. It just basically gives you a glimpse of what World War was and everything. I just you don't need to hear that shit. Everybody knows that. Um Contents, Hasbro, Wizards of the Coast. Wow, this this is this is what I really wanted to have for a long time. There, there's actually the Pacific one. It's it, it's pretty nice as well. So the Pacific one is excellent. Okay, let's open this. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Christ. Oh, fucking hell. I hate that shit. I just. I just hate that. I need to open this fucking thing. And somebody walked me up. Hey, I just hate that. Okay. Well, I'll answer later. You're probably wondering why my videos are really crappy in quality and everything. I just want it to be something like really naturalistic, like something really personal and from the heart and to be, I don't edit shit, I don't want to and it's not because I'm lazy, I just, I want it to be something like, to feel as close as possible and very unplugged, I can, I can say that. Okay, let's open this second edition. I hate opening the oh, Okay. Ah, nice, nice. A really nice rule book. Really nice looking rule book. Oh my god, it's so much. Oh my god. Good quality, not high quality paper, but good quality. I, I actually prefer the magazine type. A bunch of tokens, a bunch of player boards. I guess this is part parts of the game board. Let's see if that's part of the game board. Oh my god, yes it is. Oh, it looks lovely, it looks lovely. I really like it. Yeah, Imperialist Japan taking over China, Manchuria, Kinaksu, Guangdong, Philippine Islands, French Indo Indochina, Thailand, Malaysia, Australia. Map is really nice. Mongolia. Yakut. Soviet Far East. Evenki National Okrug. That will be pro pronounced Evenki National Nationalny Okrug. I don't know. Okay. Let's check the other part of the board. That will be the interesting part. With Europe in it. Everybody says that, well, the European front was much interesting, but I disagree. I don't think that's correct. But everybody does, so... Nazi Germany. Bulgaria and Romania, yay! Bulgaria represent... Of course we're Nazis, so... Fuck. I think those are just na uh, standing points, they're not actually Nazis. This is me, the Southern Europe. Uh, again, part of the Nazis. Poland, parts of Russia. West Russia. The Caucasus. Ukraine. 
Soviet Republic owned by Eastern Canada, Central United States, nothing much from the United States actually. Argentina and Chile. Yeah. Then we have the Africa. African provinces. Spain and Portugal. United Kingdom and Aire, which is Ireland, just silent. Sweden, Finland, and Norway. It's a pretty nice map. I'm very satisfied. Let's see what else we got in this gunk. Lifting. Oh. <gasps> ah, nice dice. Nice dice. Oh my god, the military units. This is awesome. It's just fucking perfect, man. It's really nice. I presume Soviet, British, no, American, British, Nazi, black is Nazi, and brown is probably, yeah. Reddish brown is probably Soviet. Soviet Union. So, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice game. I, I like it. It's not like this game. With low quality tokens, how can you do this? It's just paper tokens, come on! How can you be this cheap? You actually manufactured this as well, Hasbro. And Wizards of the Coast. Anyways. Thank you for watching.